Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about time dependent and concentration dependent killing of antibiotics. But first, we will talk about minimum inhibitory concentration. This is the minimum concentration that will inhibit bacterial growth. So, any concentration in blood of the antibiotic above minimum inhibitory concentration will lead to killing or inhibition of the particular bacteria. Now, in time dependent killing, the maximum killing effect of the particular drug is seen from how long the drug's concentration in blood exceeds the minimum inhibitory concentration. This means that the blood has to maintain a level more than MIC for a very long period so that it brings about the killing of the bacteria. Whereas in concentration dependent killing, the maximum killing effect is related to how high the concentration goes above MIC. So it will not be time dependent. It will be dependent on how high above the MIC it goes. It needs to attain a very high concentration in order to bring about killing. So time dependent will depend on how long the concentration of the drug exceeds MIC. And in concentration dependent, it will be how high the concentration goes, how much peak it attains, so that it brings about killing. In time dependent killing, drug duration has to be optimized. That is, we need to, when we are giving these drugs, we need to check how frequently we are giving these drugs. Whereas in concentration dependent killing, the drug concentration has to be optimized. That is, how much blood concentration has to to be achieved. In time dependent killing, since the action depends on how long the drug's concentration is uh, exceeding the MIC, it is given at a higher frequency. That is, if we give it more frequently, the blood concentration of the drug will remain higher and it will bring a better effect. So it is given multiple times a day. These kind of drugs are given multiple times like with BID and TID dosing. Whereas in concentration dependent drugs, the high doses of the drugs are given because we need to achieve one peak at one time. So we prefer giving high doses so that it attains a good concent blood concentration very fast. So OD dosing of the drugs are given. Specifically in drugs that have a concentration dependent killing, we see something called a post antibiotic effect. This is the phenomenon where bacterial growth is suppressed even when the concentration of the drug falls below the minimum inhibitory concentration. This is called post-antibiotic effect.